welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to set up quickbooks payment and accept credit card and ach let's begin now when you sign up for the quickbook payments what will happen is quickbook auto categorizes each payment on your chart of accounts for you from the credit card debit ach bank transfer paypal and venmo now the first thing you need to do if you haven't already you need to sign up for the quickbook payments through intuit you can do this directly within your quickbooks online by navigating to the settings menu and selecting the account and settings and go to the payments tab now from here just go to the cog icon setting and click on account and settings now you should be able to see the payment tabs here all right now in the event that you can't find the payment tab here all i gotta do is exit and go to the search bar here and type in payments and it will direct you to the payment tab now when you have the quickbooks payment all right you can give customers many ways to pay you can have an option to uh, write through the invoice you can send your customers invoices and they can pay all in right away you can have an on-site or in-store you also have an access to the digital payments when you click on the explore invoicing it will give you to another window wherein you can streamline the invoice payment process whatever the job we have they have a way for the invoices paid but of course you need to see the plans if this works for you because you will be integrating the ACH, Venmo, PayPal, and a lot more. All right, so you have to be very aware of the uh, pricing plans before you dive into the commitment. And as you can see, all you have to do is just provide the business information. Just follow the prompts to provide your business information, including your legal business name, address, tax ID, and banking details, because QuickBooks will use this information to set up your payment processing account. Now, in that sense, when you are in the Choose Payment Processing option, select the types of payments you want to accept, such as credit cards, debit cards, and ACH bank transfers, because QuickBooks Payments offers various payment processing options to suit your business needs. Now, QuickBooks will prompt you to verify your bank account by entering the deposit amount sent by Intuit, now, this step is very necessary to link your bank account to QuickBook Payments for receiving payments. And from here, as you can see, you can set up payment options in invoices. You can customize your invoices to include payment options for a credit card and ACH payments when creating or editing an invoice. You can add a Pay Now button that allows customer to pay online using QuickBooks Payment. Not only that, as you can see, you can personalize invoices in second. You can tailor logos, colors, and more. You can send or schedule. You can track invoices. You can get paid. You can sell. Customers can sell up via credit or debit, ACH, Apple Pay. All right, that's a new one. PayPal or Venmo. So you get your money far twice faster. Now, again, you also have the uh, option to uh, simplify every part of uh, getting paid. All right, you can send a quick reset, streamline invoicing. Payments that go straight to the bank and you can get a chargeback protection. So there's a lot that you can do when you set up your QuickBooks payment. You also have an option for the invoice advantage to boost your cash flow. And these are the rates that you wanted to check before you dive in. All right. So for the QuickBooks cards and digital wallets, that's 2.99%. For the Square Gateway, it's 3.3% plus 30 cents. For the Stripe Payment Gateway, that's for 2.9%. And for the ACH Payments, you might want to look into this. It's going to be 1%, 1%, and 1.2%. All right? But if you need more information, you might want to, of course, see all the rates. And from here, these are the more detailed information that you might want to check before you process the other payment methods here at quickbooks and set up the quickbook payments all right now if you dive deep into the invoicing and quick request rates say for example you are using a visa mastercard discover 
American Express, that's going to be $2.99%. And for the digital wallets, Apple Pay, PayPal, and Venmo, that's going to be 2.99%. And for the ACH bank payments, electronic money transfers that pull money from a customer's bank account into yours, that's going to be 1%. Of course, they also have the card reader rates, which is going to be 2.5% for cards. That's for Visa, MasterCard, Discover, American Express. And again, for digital wallets, that's going to be 2.5% um, such as Apple Pay, PayPal, and Venmo. And here are some rates for keyed in payments. And there's a lot, all right? And again... You can always call these numbers if you wanted a demo or talk to a sales professional or a um, accounting advisor so that you will you would it would help you make an informed decision here on quickbooks now once you have set that here in your uh, account you might want to do some test transactions before accepting payments from customers perform test transactions to ensure that your payment processing setup is working correctly all right now go here at transactions and obviously process both credit card and ach transactions to verify that payments are processed and deposited into your bank account as expected and of course you take some time to review the fees and rates associated with quickbooks payments including the transaction fees for credit card and ach payments understanding the cost structure will help you manage your payment processing expenses effectively and once QuickBook Payments is set up, inform your customers about the payment options available to them. Include information about paying invoices, online credit cards, ACH bank transfer to encourage electronic payments and streamline your receivable processes. Right? And obviously, by following these steps, you can set up QuickBooks Payment to accept credit card and ACH payments, providing a convenient payment options for your customers, streamlining your payment workflow and obviously if you choose a different bank account and when you're finished with all the sections select get set up you'll get an email from your enrollment in a few business days if you're approved you can order things like a mobile card reader directly from the email and also you can have the option to sign up through the quickbooks desktop if you're using the quickbooks desktop go to customers and select add credit card processing and just follow the on-screen steps and fill out the form to apply all right and i believe that's that thank you so much for watching and again we will see you in the next video